What's going on guys? Welcome back. Apple had another event today and they dropped a bunch of new products. We got some new laptops, we got some new AirPods. So we're gonna talk about the AirPods 3 and my personal opinion, if I think you should go out and spend your hard earned money on some new earbuds from Apple. So let's talk about the AirPods 3 and I got another video coming out about the notch on the new MacBooks, but that's a whole nother story. The AirPods 3, now, you know, I did order them. 179 is the price, which is extremely high. I'm going to say it right now. Way overpriced, guys. Way overpriced for these earbuds. I don't care what they are. Just look at the specs. They're not going to be worth that. We are paying for the Apple name. So if you want to spend that money, if you need the latest and greatest earbuds from Apple, you know, feel free. No judgment here. I bought them for the channel. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot. And I mean a lot of better earbuds in the market that are going to blow these away at that price and for half of that price, just so you know. But we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you what they look like. I do have a clone here, a one-to-one -one clone. We have known for a very long time, and I mean months, what these are going to look like. So I do have a one-to-one -one clone here, all three, the first gen and the second gen. The new AirPods 3 and the AirPods Pro are right here on the table. Just to give you an idea of the size of these things, how they look compared to the older models, as well as the Pros, because they're kind of a hybrid between the Pros and the first gen, right? They, they took the Pro style earbud and they made it into an open-ended earbud similar to the AirPods 1 and 2. So let's just take a look at them, right? So the case here, again, more similar to the AirPods Pro case, not as wide as the AirPods Pro case. And you can see the difference between the first and the second gen. Now they are going to still sell these on their websites. And you know, 179, what does that get us? Well, basically all it does is give us spatial audio. The battery life has been improved, but only if you use them without spatial audio. If you are using spatial audio, the battery life is about an hour less. So let's look at what these well, at what they look like. So I do, and I have never had a problem with AirPods and how they look. Very comfortable, very lightweight. And you can see here what we are going to basically get. If you pre-order these and we get them next Tuesday, they are going to look very similar to what I have here in my hands. And we'll compare them right now to the AirPods first gen and second gen. That's these. This is the first gen, but you can see here how different they are from that original AirPod, which look, are they overpriced? Sure, but are they convenient? If you have an iPhone, absolutely. Are they the best selling earbuds on the planet? They are. And there's a reason for that because they're very convenient. Sound quality on here, it's not good. It's just not good. Open-ended earbuds, it's very hard. Apple on their website, they even talk about, you know, Apple's new drivers to go into these to get that good bass. You cannot get really good bass on this style of earbuds, just be aware. If you don't like the bass on the AirPods Pro, which have the silicone ear tips, you are going to hate the bass on the new earbuds. You cannot physically just get good enough bass on these earbuds. Some companies have done a good job getting really good sound quality out of this type of earbud, but it's few and far in between. And it, the only company with this kind of style of earbuds that is a really good earbud is basically the Galaxy Buds Live. They sound incredible for what they are. They still don't compare to earbuds with the silicone tips, but for what they are, they sound good. And I believe when they were dropped, they had a very similar price point to these, but those have, well, they have quote unquote ANC, which doesn't work because you cannot have ANC on these earbuds. You, without the silicone tips, you just can't, it's not possible. But they do have really good transparency mode. They do have, you know, the fit is subjective. It's gonna depend on the style of your ear, but I don't know, I'm starting to rant. So I'm gonna go back and the AirPods 3, look, specs on these, all the specs are listed. First off, the price, 179 is extremely high for an open-ended pair of earbuds. They better sound incredible. Spatial audio is fantastic. It's really good on the AirPod Pros. It sounds really good. So I am curious how they're going to sound on an open-ended earbud. It might be a little different. Don't expect it to sound as good as it does on the AirPods Pro. Now, we also have Bluetooth 5.0, not 5.2. We still have Bluetooth 
5.0 on these. IPX4, sweat and water resistant. And for those that don't know, that's bottom of the barrel right there. You cannot submerge these in water. Do not shower with these. If you guys get these really wet, they might get damaged because IPX4 is sweat resistant, but it is at the lowest point of the scale. It's not very good. It's basically the minimum that you have to do to get the certification. So just be aware of that. You can work out, I'm sure, and you're going to be fine. But if you submerge them in water, they're probably not going to make it too much longer. So just be aware of that. Battery life on here, look, six hours, 30 with the case. There's a quote unquote fast charge. Five minutes will get you an hour. It's not that, that's not that good. Just so you know, it's not that good. Now there is wireless charging. They are MagSafe compatible, which is cool. So there are some good things, but that's kind of it. Like they even have on Apple's website, they even have the touch controls. And look, I review a lot of earbuds. There's no volume control still. There's no volume control. It's an adaptive EQ. So right there, that's going to tell you we are not going to have the ability to EQ these. And that's a shame. So no EQ on here, adaptive EQ, which, you know, okay. The AirPods Pro have it. It's still just okay. It's nothing special, but it's decent, right? But the touch controls, it's no different than the AirPod Pros. You're going to have play and pause. You're going to have next track. You're going to have previous track and you're going to have the ability to activate Siri and that's it. There's no volume control. So no EQ, no volume control, only IPX4, Bluetooth 5.0. We're talking about earbuds that should have been released last year. That's what I'm saying with the AirPods 3. We are a year behind on this release basically. And we're getting basically a year old tech on it. Bluetooth 5.0 is gone. Even small companies right now are bringing us Bluetooth 5.2 with a better IP rating, better battery life on here. You know, I expected these to have at least for this price transparency mode and we don't even get that. So look, I'm not impressed by these at all, guys. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not impressed by these at all. And I don't have any problem with the designs of the AirPods. A lot of people hate them, right? The original AirPods, people still make fun of them. People hate the stem design because of the original AirPods. I never had an issue with them. You guys know that. And these are very similar to the AirPod Pros, except for the silicone tip right here. So in my mind, these are way overpriced by at least $79. These things, even at $100, bucks, would be a tough sell for me right now. They better sound incredible. They better blow every other open-ended earbud out of the water to justify this price point. And even if they do, it's still overpriced. It is in the earbud market. You guys know if you follow the channel and if you don't hit that like right now, give me a sub because we drop earbuds that will blow these out of the water. I don't even have them in my hands. And I'm telling you, I have earbuds that will blow these out of the water all day long. And other reviewers do as well. Look, if you need the latest and greatest from Apple, you know, feel free. I'm getting them. So, but I'm getting them for the channel. I'm just being real. I'm getting them for the channel. If I didn't have the channel, I would not buy these. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm completely wrong and I'm going to be shocked by the sound of these, but they're open-ended earbuds. You can only do so much with open-ended earbuds. It's just not physically possible to get the sound quality out of open-ended earbuds that you could get even out of the AirPods Pros with the silicone tips. The AirPods Pros, just so you know, are going to sound better than anything they do with the AirPods 3. And a lot of people do not like the AirPods Pro sound. So just think about that real quick before you go out and make a purchase. They're not going to sound as good as the AirPods Pro. It's just a fact. They're not. Hopefully they sound as good as the Galaxy Buds Live, but even if they do, it's still overpriced. But it's it, guys. Just a quick video. I want you guys to know that there are better options out there. But if you need it, if you're in the Apple ecosystem and you're due for an upgrade and you just want them, you know, go get them. They're probably going to be okay for you. But I'm letting you know there's going to be a lot of better options out there. But that's it, guys. Hit that like. A sub would be appreciated. And I'll be back very soon. Peace.